hello guys welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back by the title you can tell what it is it's my euro 2020 predictions for the quarterfinals of euro 2020 a few shocks in the last round as we're going to go through them as i do the predictions for the quarterfinals but anyway guys you know what to do give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game i'm going to try and predict and i say try because of the last round it was you know, so unpredictable. Uh, the Swiss versus Spain. Now, Switzerland didn't knock out France, and no one in the right frame of mind predicted the Swiss to win that. You know, fair play to Switzerland for doing that. Um, Arm was one that thought France would win. I'm happy to hold my hands up, and you can go back and check it. I'll make it appear at the end of this video. But well done to Switzerland for actually knocking the French out. As I said, no one expected the game to go that way, but it did. And uh, yeah, fair play to Switzerland. Spain, on the other hand, Spain have not really been, you know, that good. Um, and what I mean by that good, I don't mean in this competition. I was like, if you look at Spain maybe five, six years ago, you'd probably put Spain up there to, you know, win the competition. I think this one might be another shocker though in this tournament. So I'm going to go for a Switzerland win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Switzerland win. My next one is Belgium versus Italy. Now Belgium yet again did another great job beating Portugal in the previous round. Now yet again no one had that down. And yet again I'm happy to hold my hands up. I think I predicted Portugal to win that game. Or it might have been one of them games where I did go for the Belgium win. But as I said, you go back and check the video out at the end of this video and make it pop up. But anyway, Italy to me are now one of the main favourites to win this competition. So, do I go with a Belgian win and maybe another shock of the cards? Or do I predict for the Italians to win? I reckon after extra time, I'm going to put extra time in the first ever of my 2020 euro predictions after extra time a 2-1 belgium win could be a shock that one and it still may be the next one is the czech republic versus denmark now the czech have yet again had another brilliant tournament the czechs are you know people say might be the underdogs in this they might be a bit under the radar but I have had a brilliant tournament and I'm happy to hold my hands up yet again and to say that. Going up against Denmark. Now Denmark have had that, you know, weren't great in the group. Last 16, I think they just scraped through if I remember rightly. I'm not too sure about that. You could correct me down in the comments below. It's going to be an interesting game whether you look at it with, with the Czech Republic side or the Denmark side. I'm going to go for a Czech Republic win, and I'm going to go for a 2-0 Czech Republic win. Now, Ukraine versus England. Ukraine have beaten Germany for the first time in a major competition since 1966. I, was, I watched that game, obviously. I'm proud of the boys for doing what they did at Wembley. I'm happy that I've massive rain is over um that would beat germany in a major competition since 1966 and we all know what happened in 1966 but you know we managed to get over that mark a bit of payback from her uh, to the germany uh to the germans after that frank lampard world cup goal and the referee didn't give it didn't think it went in but it, you know, we all know it did, even the keepers, you know, could put his down up and when it went in, maybe, maybe the referee would change his mind, we never know now. But, you know, it's a bit of payback from the Germans. But I would just want to say I'm so proud of England, the players, Gareth Southgate as well. If you follow me on social media, I'm going to do that, the links are down in the description below, under my so all my social media links. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Please go follow me on there because when a game like England is planned, I will tweet, I'll put polls out, I, you know, I will put stuff about the game. I will, as I said, I questioned the team lineup yesterday. One of many uh, fans to believe to question the team lineup, but Gareth Southgate stuck to his guns and, you know, really did well. 
Uh, but yeah, fair play to England, fair play to the England boys, and uh, let's hope it can continue. But going up against the Ukraine side now, Ukraine. I can't. I'm not sure quite the player's name. I don't want to mispronounce it or nothing. But if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. One of their players are out for the rest of the uh, tournament due to a bad injury, and it's thanks to VAR where the Sweden player got uh, sent off. And that's why I like it. You know, it may be a bit dodgy in areas. It may be tweaking. It may be need improving. I believe it does, but I don't think we should get rid of it entirely for situations like that. If uh, Sweden managed to keep that player on, we might be looking at a different team to plan in this part of the competition. But anyway, as the prediction goes, I've got to stick up for my own country, as always. I'm going to stick up for England. I'm going to go... Hmm, we haven't exceeded this competition either. What way do I go? What way do I go? Um, I'm going to go for an England win. And I'm going to go... Do I go 2-1 or 2-0? I'm going to go for a 2-0 win for England. And thanks to England in that uh, Germany game, I won a £10 as well. So thank you, England. But yeah, there's my predictions for the Euro 2020 qualif uh, court finals. Ending the st uh, stage of the competition now. So, you know, I've enjoyed doing this. As always, guys, thanks for your support. Not only through these videos, but throughout, you know, all the support you do show me. I really do appreciate it. But anyway, guys, until next time, you know what to do. Give us a big fun and you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Cheers for that.